D. Wood, I want to start with you because as we consider whether or not a team can completely turn around the circumstances from a blowout loss in the regular season, you were on a team that did. Yeah. I think you'll appreciate this, Greeny. Back in 2010, <laughs> we played the New England Patriots in Foxborough in the regular season. Yep. Got crushed 45-3. to And so after that game, the first thing we did was Rex Ryan told us, we're going to go out on the practice field and bury the football because that was just the mm. symbolism of <laughs> we need to forget about this game. We're not going to watch the tape. We're not going to do anything. We need to forget this game. But lo and behold, we saw the Patriots again in the playoffs. Nobody gave us a chance in that game because er all, er all everybody could talk about was a 45 to three. But you get, but you know what? We believed it, and we went to Foxborough and handled business, and they were shocked. I mean, some people have talked about that Aaron Rodgers is back after what we saw from last week. But you want to pump the brakes on that. Why would that be in this game? Well, I mean, I think that he's certainly not back to the Aaron Rodgers of old. What he did last week was similar to what he did all season, where it was kind of some mediocre play, and then he would remind us. In one, two, three, four plays, he would remind us. But I think this play, this game is huge for him and his legacy, because if he's able to beat this team that we think is definitely better than him, he's able to put this team on his back and win there and then maybe get another Super Bowl opportunity and do the same thing again we'll think about him differently than we do right now yeah I'm with you uh, I'm with you Neek and D Wood to your point the Packers could bury this football but it'll probably rise from the dead because I expect <laughs> to see the exact same result Zombie. not that Aaron Rodgers hasn't gotten better because Aaron Rodgers played very well last week and I'm confident in him but this 49ers defense led by the stout defensive line and the defensive backs that can all run and hit and tackle I just don't see the Packers making a 30-point type of swing. It's not going to be that miraculous. The last time they played, the 49ers didn't have in that game D Ford, who makes a tremendous difference up front. Mm -hmm. They didn't have Quan Alexander, who's a force against the run game. Mm -hmm. Dre Greenlaw hadn't developed into the kind of linebacker that he is. And it's amazing to think about what I find amazing is we go back to the one play at the end of the regular season game between San Francisco and Seattle. The one play that entirely changed yep. the seeding process in the NFC yep. And led to this game being here with Green Bay yep. going to San Francisco. Yep. So it's an amazing right. concept that one play and one inch at the goal mm -hmm. line changed the whole NFC. Structure. Very quickly to sort of take it right back to the beginning of the conversation. It's one thing to bury a football and to <laughs> believe you can do it. How much did you change? How much did that Jets team change what you did on the field to beat New England legendarily? Because the Packers, they can bury as many footballs as they want. <laughs> yeah. Bosa will dig them up and find them. So what is it they need to change, or can they, to try and go out there and turn the circumstances? Well, Greeny, in that game, if you remember, uh, like the, right at the beginning of the game, David Harris caught that interception yes. for a touchdown. And that changed, that set the tone for the rest so of the game. you need something good to happen. Yeah. Get, that's get usually good for that's early usually, on. To believe, right? To believe. That's usually what happens. You need something. You need a spark early. When you get crushed like that, you get a spark early, that's when momentum and happens. Make no mistake about it. The Packers caught some bad breaks in the first game. Sack force fumble early on. Uh, 49ers go on and they score right after that. But to, to Schefter's point, I think Aaron Rodgers going to have to go crazy in this right, game. Yeah. He's yeah, going to have to so. put the whole team on his back. He just doesn't have enough the, pro weapons. the problem with that is you're saying he has to, like, drop back? That's the worst possible thing you can do against this defense. They need to find a way to run the ball. And the sad part is no one knows how to stop that zone rushing scheme as well as Kyle Shanahan. Yep. His father is the one who pioneered that. So I think that's part of the problem is the thing that they need to do best to take pressure off them is the thing that I think the 49ers and their coaches have to yep. understand better than anybody. All right, so they are both three matches this week, the NFC game and then the AFC game. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.